the current climate prediction involves uh, uh, tremendous uncertainties. Therefore, use multi-model ensemble approach is the best approach, is best than any single model from any single countries. Now, in our world, there are three multi-model prediction centers. One is in the Europe, another in the North America, and APCC is a worldwide multi-model ensemble center. In fact, the APCC has more models from Asian Pacific country, more than European multi-model and North American model. So APCC's seasonal products, products has been widely used for uh, every country's hydrometeorology forecast centers. So this is a very important uh, platform, I think, and APCC becomes one of the world-class forecast centers. From the perspective of APEC, sort of middle-income, low-income economies, they are the most vulnerable to uh, climate extremes. And they're also the least capable of actually generating the information they need to make decisions uh, which are about their, their safety and sustainability. So APCC plays a huge role in providing um, information on uh, climate that is actually very important for decision making. It's also very important for these countries' development partners. So in our case, with the World Bank, the, the ability to rely on APCC to provide us with information on El Nino, La Nina situation is extremely important from a uh, investment point of view so that we can actually advise governments on what actions they may need to take and what we need to take internally in terms of uh, preparing for a potential a significant disaster, so it's, it plays a huge role and there are few institutions like it. Um, APCC plays a, a big role in the international community. In the case of the Philippines, we see APCC as a partner, uh, especially in improving our seasonal climate forecast. So I think um, a closer collaboration is in fact needed and that's why the re that is the reason why we, we forged a uh, memorandum of understanding with the APCC so that the uh, model can be installed in our own computer. I think this will really help uh, the Philippines in improving our seasonal forecast. There are a lot of benefits for, for our country, especially uh, uh, in all it has to be with the training of the meteorologists and climatologists. And it's, it's an excellent uh, opportunity in, the, in, in, in my country uh, to get uh, science methodologies and apply, and apply to the climate uh, products and benefits to the different users in the, in the country. Especially uh, uh, the information that divided, the divided of the models, of the climatic models. Uh, some, some products are, are, are very important for us uh, to complement the local information. This is where uh, APCC uh, is already playing some role and uh, I believe uh, should play a much more important role again for this very big and important and uh, uh, region characterized with such a variety of economies, different conditions, climate conditions, uh, users and all that kind of things. Definitely I think uh, uh, it is uh, uh, very uh, beneficial for uh, Korea itself uh, because uh, it could be otherwise. Uh, having uh, such a center uh, in Korea means that Korea is probably uh, uh, the closest and uh, easiest uh, user of uh, the services provided uh, by uh, the center. So uh, it's even more important, uh, I would say, 
uh, in terms that uh, APCC is uh, leading these activities, is going to further going to uh, lead these activities in the big region. So, inevitably, uh, Korea uh, would benefit from the expertise which is going to increase in APCC. However, it is already uh, very significant.